Well, we're back in the shop and we're going to try another project today. What we're going to build today is a simple V-block that will go on your lathe. Um, and you would use this V-block to drill centered holes for uh, tool handles, mallet handles, uh, things of that nature. It just gives you the ability to perfectly center a hole in a cylindrical object. Uh, and once you can get it perfectly centered, now when you put your handle in, everything looks good. So we're going to get with it and we're going to build one of these and we'll start in just a moment. Our first step, we'll take a simple uh, sacrificial block. Uh, in this case it won't be a sacrificial, but that's what I use these blocks for. And I usually keep a number of them pre-cut. So I'm just going to go in the chuck. Um, I've pre-cut a piece of uh, three-quarter inch Baltic birch plywood at about four and a half inches square. And I've already found the center and I've punched, uh, center punched a hole there. So what we're going to do is glue these two pieces together. We'll use the tailstock and we'll put the hole into the live center and then I can lock the tailstock, tighten it up and glue these so I know that this piece is centered on the smaller piece. And then we have the base to build our centering device. Now it'll only take a second to throw a little glue on here. So we'll just let that sit, and once that dries up, we can uh, proceed to the next step. Okay, our piece is now dry, and all we have to do is remove the tailstock pressure and take it out of the chuck. Everything else will be done off the lathe. As I have my sacrificial on one end, and my center is still marked, I still have my uh, center punch in the center so we can build everything else off the lathe and we'll do that in just a second okay now we're ready to start working off the lathe we've got our four and a half inch piece with our a block on the back now I've already cut the other pieces these are um, just the same three-quarter inch plywood I've cut a 45 degree angle on four pieces. Now these will be the four pieces that we will glue on here. Um, they will line up right here and of course I've cut these at two and a quarter which is half of the four and a half. So when I position these like this they meet in the center and that makes them automatically centered. So all I have to do is glue them down just like that. I'll slide some of these blocks under here to stabilize it. And we just apply a little glue. Get it lined up with the sides exactly. And then we can just shoot a nail in it. And we'll do the other side exactly the same way.
and that will hold it till the glue dries. And now the other blocks will go directly on top of that and we'll just line up the miters so it's like it's one continuous piece. And we'll do it exactly the same way. We'll just put a little glue on it. And get it lined up. And we'll do the same thing with this side. And we have our block finished. As you can see, it gives us a very deep V, so we can center our round items in that. And because this will go in a chuck, this is automatically centered. So when we put this up, we'll be able to drill a hole directly in the center without actually having to uh, find the center. There's a number of devices that can do that. Um, they're all designed for use on a, a drill press and it's got its own set of problems trying to do it that way. So this piece is a very simple device. It's cheap to build and it doesn't take much time and it will get the job done. And I'm going to sand this out and clean it up a little bit and then I'll be able to show you how it actually works. Okay, we now have our V-block completely finished. Uh, it's been sanded. The center of the V is on the center line of this block in the back. So when I put that in a chuck, it will make sure that the center line of that V is on the center line of the lathe. Now to actually mount it on the lathe, um, you need to be able to put a, a chuck on your tailstock. Now, the best way to do that is with one of these devices. It's called a reverse chucking adapter. It's available on most of the, um, or at least a lot of the uh, late turning websites. Uh, it has the threads that's going to match your chuck, and it has a number two Morse taper on the other end. So, to install it, it's just a simple matter of screwing the adapter onto the chuck and then you install that in the tailstock. Now the block can now be set in the tailstock. Um, the actual direction of the V is not that important because it's on the center line of the lathe. Now it's probably going to be easier for you to see if I put it at a slightly different angle. So I'm going to set it about like this and that might help. Now, I have a, just a round block of wood that uh, I've turned just for the demonstration. And this just goes in the V. And when it goes in the V, that automatically centers the other axis 
on the center line of the lathe. Now, all you need is a mark for your center. So I just measured the uh, length of the block and put a mark here. Uh, I don't need to find the other. I don't need an X. I just need a single line. And then I'll line up the center of my drill bit on that line and I'll know I'm drilling in the center of the hole. So we just put this in the block. We can get it up close. And then it's from here it's just a matter of lining that line up with the center of the drill bit. And now I'm perfectly centered on my piece of wood in both axes. Now, uh, I already have the speed set at about 500, so all you would do is advance the, the quill handle while holding the piece. And that will drill your hole. Now, this gives me a perfectly centered hole on round stock. Um, it comes in very handy when you're doing a number of different things. Um, the most important of which is uh, drilling a hole in a mallet head uh, to install the handle. Um, but there's a lot of other tools that you would need a hole for a handle. And this V-block will drill a very nice, well-centered hole um, on your piece. Um, a couple of thoughts on it. You notice I use a twist bit instead of a, a Forstner bit. Anytime you're drilling uh, a, a deeper hole, the Forstner bit tends to uh, clog up with wood chips. Um, and then the chips don't eject. So it builds up a great deal of heat and a lot of friction. Uh, and you have to back it out often and clear the chips. And that's just simply not the case with a twist drill. Twist drill. You can go deeper than you can a Forstner bit. So a lot of times the choice of the bit is going to make a lot of difference in uh, how easily the hole gets drilled. But that's pretty much it. That's how you would uh, build and use a V-block on your lathe. Now, I hope you enjoyed watching this video because I certainly enjoyed making it. And until next time, uh, good turning and stay safe.